Teasdale with a decorative concrete training and technical support with Brick Farm, along with John Reynolds, who's also with the training and technical department of Brick Farm. We want to go through a few items of our stamps before we get started on our slab today on how to place these stamps and the tools and accessories needed to go out and start stamping a project. First off, we want to mention about this is a rough cut Asher Slate pattern. You notice that it is a notch system tool, and we want to lay these out and show you how these lock together. So John is going to lay these all out, and we have red, blue, yellow stamps, and on the back side of each one of these, we have a different tool pattern as far as the stone configuration on the backs of them. Each one of them has a different, depending on your colors. First off, we want to make sure that we have enough tools to go all the way across our project. So we know that we have enough tools to reach all the way across our 12-foot dimension that we're going to stamp across and have two to return with. So make sure you have ample tools. Next off is we want to make sure that we have a super flex tool. It is the same as our other tools. Only difference is it's a thinner, floppier, flexier, flexer tool that can actually fit up against the walls and actually up against you know, foundations and different configurations to make sure that you get your entire stone pattern up as close to a wall as possible. Next off is we want to make sure that we have a two foot texture skin to go with our pattern. Today I've picked the Elk Balance stamp because it has the same texture as what our pattern does. This we can go around our outside perimeter, making sure that we have texture around the entire outside and along our wall line to make sure that we don't have any blank spots when we start stamping. Also, we have our detail tools that we use. We have different tools that fit different patterns. This tool here, we're going to use the small flat edge roller to go and do all of our squeeze up and our detail work, as well as a chisel set. We have a full chisel set so that we can go in and chisel all of our lines up to the walls and make sure that our patterns are complete. And also we will be using a mason brush for broadcasting of our releases. Now I'm placing these tools together. John has them laid out so they're all offset color wise. But the other thing is too that we want you to look at is how the tool is facing. This notch has a direction. It is the most misused pattern in the industry. We we'll want to make sure that this notch is always headed at the house to make sure that we can never see the repetition in the pattern or the design of the pattern. All we want to see is the stonework. From the side, you can see how this small notch would actually show up. So we want to make sure to stay at the bottom of the driveway looking up that you do not see that joint going through the slab. Next is that John has this all laid out, and you'll see how all the tools interlock together. We want to make sure that the half of this tool fits in this notch, and the other one is overlapping the next tool to make sure that we are breaking this joint up. So now that we've laid out our tools, we know how they work, making sure that we've laid these out to know how the pattern fits together before we start on the process of stamping our slab so that we know that we're not going to have problems out there in the field. So now we know how they're all put together, how to lay them out. Now we can go start stamping.